Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. It starts as a rumble and builds to a roar. a year, the small town of Sturgis, South Dakota, welcomes half a million bikers. Welcome to Sturgis! And at the heart of the world's largest biker rally is the world's largest biker bar. my mind that there is even a bar like this that exists. Owner Michael Ballard has just over a week to make his money for the entire year. We need to fill this mother up. Riding to this place can be heaven, but running this place can be hell. She just stole it right there. Yeah. Tornado warning. We're gonna bite a hundred grand a night. This <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm freaking believable. Holy You fight it every day. Every day you wake up, it's a new problem. You're moving bikes out of there. I wish Michael would have just fired him two years ago. Hey, Baka. Ow. I need my I don't need you giving my weight, ain't yours. It belongs to me. At the end of the day, it really don't matter because I'm firing your ass anyway. When they call it full throttle, this place is wide open. One incredible bar. One unforgettable ride. <laughs> this is the Full Throttle Saloon. It's the day before the Sturgis rally begins, and Michael Ballard is stressing over details. You should go talk to Angie. But he's about to have an even bigger problem. A body's been found. I got a guy down here that won't wake up. You need to get an ambulance. Yeah, when they called and said there's a body out here, I was freaking out because I didn't know what was going on. And well, How long has he been here? Who we is don't he? Know. My brother found him. When I got there and seen that he was unresponsive, and they told me that he had been that way for a half hour, then I was really freaked out at that point. Thank you. They on the way? Yeah. I need you to go to that front gate and tell them guys there's ambulance coming. Tell them to come to this wall of death. Hell, he can't be intoxicated from our place. Nobody's been in there. I don't think he's intoxicated because it's so early in the morning. I think that he could be maybe a diabetic. He's on something earlier. Completely out. You got any water? You got any water? Hey! Hey, dude. There we go. He's moving. Yeah. You all right? Oh, I'm never. The next thing I know, he was up screaming at the camera crew. Hey, get that camera out here. We've been here for a long time, like 30 minutes trying to wake you up. We're just really worried about you. I just want to make sure you was OK. You scared us. Yeah, you just scared the out of us because we couldn't get you to wake up. It's just another day at the throttle, and the rally hasn't even started. So it's the beginning of the rally. I'm worried to death about everything right now at this point. Saws are running, people are hammering. Hey, Barney, I'm running out of time. Where are you at? We're setting up all of our merchandise. I got vendors hitting. There are over 200 cabins. Dozens of vendors and room for more than 10,000 bikers at one time. The world's largest biker bar is like its own freaking city. And so that's a lot of pressure in itself, just getting this place off the ground. It's a monster to open. What's up? When I get here, the office is 10 people deep. Do we have any little bar towels? I called him, but he didn't answer the phone. Can you check? I can't afford for that to happen. 15 voice messages, 20 text messages. It's coming to my office. OK, I got I to jump. I'll call you in a minute. 
I've got 300 employees to pay. I've got two mortgages on the property that has to get covered. This is by far the make and break year for the throttle. For now on, I want all the orders to go through me with the bar, everything. Well, this nine to 10 days is gonna tell whether I'm gonna come out of it or not. This one's not done. The last 20 years of my life is investing into this place and it's like rolling a dice in Vegas on everything that you own. Okay. Does that work? Yeah, as long as you're available, I'll it works. Here. I'm always available. Yeah. Angie's been here since I opened, and she started her Angie Land thing. She does something no other bartender does. She sets on heads, kind of like an ass hat, and uh, what we call it. And that thing has evolved, and then her and I ended up getting into a relationship together. And I love you. I love you too. I've kind of brought her into the middle of the business a lot more. Um, I want shirts yeah, lifted great, up, great. I want pant legs lifted up, all of it. Angie is also a part of Flaunt, a sexy dance troupe that shakes their ass off every night of the rally. Can we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and throw it back here? I'm being a jack of all trades, is what I'm being right now. I'm making sure that our rehearsals are going well. So it's five, six, seven, eight. That we're going to be prepared for flaunt um, up on stage. You did, you you sweet ass, I did. We started out as professional cheerleaders. Now there's no football team anymore, so we decided to start our own show because we just have it in our blood to perform. To keep the bikers boozing, Michael brings in some of the biggest acts in the country to perform. He's got burnout pits, mechanical bulls, and this year, he's added a zip line, stripper poles, and a big ass steel bridge. Nobody can touch our atmosphere. We're gonna become that repeat place for everybody to come back to. There are a dozen major bars in Sturgis, and the competition is cutthroat. To make sure his place is ready, Michael opens the bar before the rally starts. Because this is the f best place in the world, man. Oh my you God. You see the bridge out what there? A... That's an iron worker's bridge. No. Okay? And that's what this place is all about working people, and that's what we're here for. I come to Full Bottle because it's really hot, and there's um, tons of bikes. You can do a burnout, and you're going to see hot chicks and great bands. I'm a regular here. I was born in South Dakota, so I just have a good time, make good money. It's a little running joke that every Thursday when Jackal performs, I get fired. So this year I promise them I'm not going to get fired on Thursday. <laughs> Bartenders will do almost anything for a good tip. But if they go too far, Michael could lose his liquor license. So he has to lay down the law. Ladies, Mike Strain is Michael Ballard's attorney. He's going to go over what you cannot wear. My name is Angelica Ellie Tyler. I've never bartended. I'm actually just going to be a beer tender, so I am scared, actually. We'll start with the first one, which is butts. You can't show your butt cracks here. Here's close right here. That's a little too short. Come up here and demonstrate here. My name's Courtney Lenshaw. I'm here to make some money. This is a little too high. You can't have the lower butt portion showing according to the ordinance, OK? I got personality. That's all I need. And I'll give the bikers what they want. Boobs. OK, next thing. Cleavage is absolutely fine, OK? Transparency's not. Fishnet covers not. The bikini one back here is just, I, well, I'd like a little more if I could, just to be on the safe side for tomorrow. My name's Brittany Hodges. Every girl likes to play dress up. You know, when you're a little kid, you dress up in dresses. When you get older, you dress up like a whore. I'm sure you can't use that on your TV. Third thing is bodies. And I'm talking about yours and the customers. They are not to touch. My name's Jessica Baxter. This atmosphere is a little different. The women are very, very intimidating here. It's like, I don't think I could pull off a lot of those outfits. And I need to do some crunches or something. It's hard. All right, I'm Vicki Ballard. I'm Michael Ballard's sister. Let's go through the handbook a little bit here. Vicky is a very valuable piece of the puzzle with the throttle, especially having logistics for the payroll, the taxes. Once you're off of work, I don't, you know, as long as you're not showing your nipples, I don't care. <laughs> Michael Ballard walked in, so I'm pretty sure he probably wants to have a few words with you ladies. 
The main thing I want you guys to know is this. We have security cameras everywhere at this whole property. It's almost as if you were in Las Vegas, Nevada. The bartenders are hugely important to me. Without them, we don't make it. But I can't stand a thief. I'm telling you right now up front, because it happens every single year, we get at least eight to 10 girls that think they're smarter than we are, and they try to steal money from us. Yeah, we want good looking girls, you know, but we still got to have them girls that are honest and believe in what we're doing. Good luck, and I hope you guys make a killing. You make me a killing, so let's make it happen. Thank you. The few days before rally, what I am doing is trying to make sure that there's a full staff here ready to go as rally starts. And that includes clean up the parking, the security, the bar bags, bartenders, just making sure every spot in this place is covered from top to bottom. A former bartender named Brittany has unexpectedly returned, <laughs> but is only yeah. willing to work on her own terms. Brittany's been here forever, and she's had some issues every year. There's a couple things. Do you want to work here again? For sure. OK. Um, first thing is, that's got to be gone. Oh. Like that, no more drinking. Never. And okay, the promise I get it. whatsoever. OK, get in there and, and do an application okay, and sign paperwork. <laughs> Brittany, do you want the job or not? I do, I do, but I, where, where am I going to be? I don't want to, like, quit my job to, like, be somewhere. You'll be on night shift. I can't guarantee oh. you main bar, though. So, last minute, Brittany Bell's drunk ass shows up again, expecting that she just gets her spot back on main bar. But you have to understand, like, I could not... Brittany, Angie, I know, Angie, Brittany, Angie. listen, I want you to listen to me. I, I have 300 people that I, I have to do. employ here. I can't just be like, hmm, I wonder if Britt is coming back this year. And then, like, two weeks before rally starts, yeah. I'm supposed to automatically have a spot for you. Angie, I can't do it. You could have called me. Like, seriously, like, you knew. I, that's not my responsibility to make sure you want a job. That's your responsibility. Where's my <laughs> I am the answer person. Okay. It doesn't go any further than me. I can't guarantee you main bar. And I cannot guarantee you your spot. That's where I'm at. Now it's in your court. OK? OK. OK. Thanks, Brittany. Well, I know she didn't like the answer I gave her, so I'm sure she's headed over to find Michael, um, bat her eyes, be all cutesy and pretty, and just worm her way back into that position. Listen. Being a friend. Here's where I'm at. Don't cry. No, I'm being don't start crying. No, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Go, have you filled out any paperwork to get in our no, system? I'm filling out paperwork? Well, if you get hired, you'll have to. From the day I can get hired, I will fill out paperwork. All right, we'll try to figure it out, all right? No. What do you want to do then? I don't Listen know. Listen to the balls and tell her. I'm not telling her. I'm not crossing that line. That's her You're damn, her? that's her world. Scared? I'm not scared. That's my her world, though. You know, I'm not going to cross Hello. that line. That, she's the one handling Hello. all the bartenders. That's what I put her in charge of. So I'm not going to go step all over that. Well, that's really? the truth. That's the way it is. Give Angie a little while and see if she can get you spotted. If she can't get you spotted, don't. Yes. Don't scuff because she's a girl. You won't even be working here. Watch out. Huh? Be careful. I love Angie as a person, <laughs> but she does hate me. <laughs> so uh, just. Uh, Give her a little while to get back no, down here I and figure mean, it out. If she can get you your spot, then you'll come to work. If she can't get your spot, then you're gonna, not going to do exactly. it. Exactly. Okay, then that's where we're at. Cool. Okay, later. Coming up, fire in the kitchen. it's the last thing Michael wants to hear. Sean comes over and tells me there's a fire in the kitchen. Totally freaked me out. And later, the first night crowd gets crazy. <laughs> Maybe too crazy. Holy we're not ready yet. And one girl gets the axe before the rally even starts. I'll get the bitch out of here. She's ripping us off. It's the last night before the rally begins, and Michael is sweating, but his temperature is about to go up even more. 
fire in the kitchen. Yeah, so Sean comes over and tells me there's a fire in the kitchen. It totally freaked me out. No telling how much downtime and cleanup and food loss that we would have. I wasn't even sure if, if they had enough fire extinguishers inside the main bar to handle putting it out. Last thing I need to do is lose my bar in a fire right before the rally ever really starts kicking ass. Is it out? No, I blew the fire. still on fire. We identified it was some hand towels that caught on fire inside the dryer. They already pretty much had it out when I got in there, except for the smoke. So it, that really kind of freaked me out. We didn't need that Never seen anything like that. It's throttle, man. What do you expect? Get off. Kitchen crisis averted, Michael still has to scramble. He has only a few hours before the rally begins. How are you and Brittany getting along? I'm getting along just fine with her. I put it in her court. If she wants to work here, there's rules that she has to follow just like everybody else. I don't know. Put some balls and tell her. I'm not telling her. I'm not crossing that line. That's her you damn, her? that's her world. I'm not scared. That's my her world, though. She tried to bypass with you. With Michael. I'm like, I am the answer person right now. <laughs> I told her same thing. So are, am I at, like, kind of a breather point right now? So maybe I could jump in on a couple, a little bit of practice? Yes. Yeah. No, knock it out. OK. <laughs> now you're making me fall. whether they're women or men, love chicks. That's just how it is. Tina was long leg. We're kind of going to be up here. Shayla, well, look at your line. feeling about it is me up there having fun is making other people down there have fun. So it's the night before we open up in full swing for all the rest of the bars out here. We'll have uh, a full swing of about 80 bartenders on tomorrow and uh, all of our employees will be in place. Um, so I'm just going around doing like last minute things that need to get done and get finished. Are we going to be able to juice that, that juice bar up over there tomorrow? Yeah. You'll have it up full swing tomorrow night, right? Yes, sir. Okay. We've had a lot of construction this year. Some of it's still in construction. We're trying to finish up right now. I got to have some bulbs. Light bulbs? Yeah, the long fluorescent. Teeth, yeah. We've got a lot of things I'm trying to get. We're just like pouring concrete and where people won't trip up. We need to put some gravel over that tomorrow, maybe. Making sure there's enough light everywhere for everybody to be able to see what they're seeing. Hey, man. Hey, did you see where that light went out on uh, the bridge? Making sure all the bridges are completely ready to go because it's such a big new addition. It looks a lot better. We're basically at a point now where whatever projects are going are basically going to come to a stop. We got it looking good enough now. I think I feel comfortable that we're going to be able to open. Michael gets a call that a bartender might be beating the system. Our surveillance system is like beyond anybody else in Sturgis. We have cameras over all the teals. We watch all the girls. She totally ripped us right there, though. The bartender in question is Jesse, the blonde bombshell who says she always gets fired on Thursday. She's getting some change. Here we go. This is where they here, all right, let's watch what happens here. Okay, she popped a five right then. Yeah. Out of the register. Yeah. Nothing gets me hotter than somebody ripping me off. Okay, check this out. We're gonna pull up here and watch this whole thing go down. Two big ones and a small one. 14. What the hell is She that? just stole it right there. She put it in like she's done it. Boom, took it right back out. Two shots and a beer. You watch your count at about 15. And then she took a 20? And then she took a 20 off. $13, is that right? One beer? Yeah. I'll get the bitch out of here if she's ripping us off. It's hard to fire somebody unless, uh, unless I catch them stealing. Then it's easy. Coming up, the rally finally arrives, and Brittany, the bartender, is already in the crosshairs. 
I'm a little nervous about her, so we might want to kind of watch her. And later, when the rally crowds get cooking, one bartender can't stand the heat. I'm not here to be touched. I, I don't need it. As day breaks at the 69th annual Sturgis Bike Rally, the clock starts ticking at the full throttle. If the people don't show up tonight, I don't think we'll be able to make up them dollar figures over the rest of this week. Michael Ballard has just 10 days of rally to make all his money for the year. It takes $200,000 to open the front doors when rally starts in just food stock, beer stock, and liquor stock. It'll pick up here in a little bit. I hope it does. People seem to think that we come out here 10 days and get filthy rich, and we still have mortgages that has to get paid every year. Is there a lot of campers been coming into town? It is. I think it'll be all right. I need to be more than all right. If the rally's down like it was last year, we're going to have a, I don't, I don't think we'll be able to hold on to it. I'm nervous about it, dude. I'm telling you. I've been nervous the whole summer. Hey, Sean, you know, I fired Jesse last night, so we need another bartender for tonight. Ended up at 2 o'clock this morning, I got firing her and getting her out of here. At the end of the day, it really don't matter because I'm firing your ass anyway. I had so much on videotape on her, it was ridiculous. Could have actually had her arrested had I wanted to, but, but I ended up just letting her pay out and get out of here. There's no cameras across the street. So the girls that we fired are over there now working. They know they can rip the system off over there. How many of these stops do you want? Someone asked for a Jack and Coke. You're right. I gave him an extra shot for free. I made it up later. It's his loss, really. That looks like That's way too small of a logo. It should have been big on the back. We built a brand over the past 10 years, and our merchandise is huge. See, that looks all right on that size of a shirt. A lot of people that come to Sturgis want a full throttle t-shirt. There's your hoodie. That looks pretty cool. Our designs are way better than most other places, and just the brand or the name full throttle and what we've created here, people get out here and have fun and want to get a t-shirt from the place to take home. They come get them, they take home to their friends. It plays a big part of our business. Percentage-wise, it's probably about 15% of what we do, but that's quite a bit of, that's a pretty large number. <laughs> Look at that one. Yeah. Huh? Turned out pretty good, didn't it? Heck yeah, that's gonna go. Mm -hmm. My mom's a workhorse. She ought to work everybody in the whole family put together, even though, you know, she's in her 70s. Did you get them condoms? No, I don't use them. I know, I, if you did, I wouldn't be here. My accident. I was your accident. My little what? accident. <laughs> your big accident now. I don't know. You should have never bought me a motorcycle. Huh? You wouldn't be here. You'd be sitting behind a desk somewhere. Well, I'm sitting outside. Nice business man in a suit giving orders and in an air conditioned room. Not well, running around like something crazy. Except the suit. I'm doing everything you just said except the suit. And wouldn't have this. Have that pretty long, beautiful hair I love. All right. See? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm All right. Check 212. Check 212. How's everybody doing out there today? You guys doing all right? Yeah. All right. I'd like to thank you very much for coming out to the Full Throttle. We're at the Red Rotten Wall of Death in the Full Throttle Saloon, and we'll be riding on our racetrack. It's 12 feet high, it's 30 feet round, and it's called the World's Steepest Race Course, the Red Rotten Wall of Death. And don't you ever forget, my name's Brett, and you watch me go. Give it up out there. Brett's one of the number one stunt riders in the country with a wall of death. He draws a big crowd for me. I really need him out front, but he, he's always into trouble. He's always in jail. I think for the past nine years, he has went to jail every single freaking year during a rally. I haven't been a saint here. Red riding's going a little crazy, you know, these bike events can get a little nuts, so it's very important that I do my shows right, on time, like a responsible human being, and not get caught up in the party scene.
Inside the throttle, Angie's already making sales and making friends with the Flaunt fans. Even outside of being on stage, there's a lot of times when they'll come up to us and you guys are great. This totally made our night. Can we get a picture with you guys? Now I'm going to put them on for you. No, let me help you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dirty. That personal touch that Flaunt has, it's what makes Flaunt what Flaunt is. You are awesome. Now go drink some more beer. Coming up, panic sets in when the bikers don't show. Just start flagging people in here into the infield. And later, Flaunt takes the stage. We're going out there for our first performance at Sturgis 2009. But an even bigger challenge is on the way. You gotta be kidding me. The first day of the rally is off to a slow start at the throttle. And owner Michael Ballard is already freaking out. Man, it's dead out there. It'll start picking up, baby. Let's see where we're supposed to be. Today's Saturday. We're supposed to hit 21,000 today. Okay. For day shift. Okay. You know, our bartenders, I'm not so happy with all the bartenders at this point. They're just standing there looking at customers, and they need to be taught how to be more personable in order to uh, sell alcohol. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. Hi, guys. You guys need some drinks? Yeah. Okay, what would you like? I love your stars. Do you want some water? The girl right there on the, in the middle yeah. has a great personality. I know. She's awesome. Her name's Brittany. We might ought to want to put her in a better spot than that side. Like, she's so outgoing and smiling and talking to the customers and waving at them when they come by. Well, have a safe ride. The reason that Michael is such a great businessman is because he listens and he looks and he hears what his customers want. And that's why he's so incredible with what he's done here. All right, everybody, welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon, everybody. It is Saturday afternoon. Today is the official start for the Full Throttle Saloon. We are going to have the first ever beer belly contest. I said I wasn't coming back. Let's, let's leave it at that. But, you know, I mean, you can't quit this place. It, it's hard to explain. I try to keep the action going. I try to keep the people here. Once you're here, we want you to stay here, have fun, have a great time. You're going to have an opportunity to get on the zip line and ride the zip line of love. It's kind of like riding fajita Mike. I think it's going to be a tough year, of course, with the economy and everything. But you know what? People love bikes. People love to come to Sturgis. It'll pick up here a little bit. I hope it does. Just start flagging people in here into the infield. And we need to fill this mother. Uh, if we don't have a vibe going out here, then we don't have nothing. You know, the bikes make the vibe. Fill this place up. I don't care. Bring all the bikes in. This is what it's all about. It's Sturgis. There's people here. It's starting to build right now. I run all the kitchens for uh, Michael. I have for five, six years now. Oh, let me wash my hands. Don't wash your hands. Uh, stick around, y'all. Have a great time. We get the burnout pit open up here. Bikers love the burnout pits. They love to get in there and roast the tires and raise hell. The crowd loves it. Smoke rolls. So today's the first day of the rally. Things are looking good. There's a lot of campers still coming into town. For the first night opening, we could do over 100K even tonight. For Michael, the goal is to offer enough kick-ass entertainment so bikers will stay a while and spend their money. Also, the bull is going on. Come on down here and see what it's all about. Oh, my. Pretty in pink. I want to see her straddle a piece of meat.
first day of rally, there's all of the excitement of everyone showing up for rally and everything is just popping and it's great and the atmosphere is awesome. But in the back of your mind, the opposite side of that is, holy shit, we're not ready yet. Go ahead and try and punch in. This is a bad print. Please try again. Again, try it once. Yeah. This is a bad print. Try, try, try again. Can I do a different finger? Yeah. You have been punched oh, in. Oh, first day. <laughs> seven days. Seven and a half days left. They get you straightened out. I don't know. I heard they did. Brittany, despite the fact that she has disappointed us in past years, Michael is a god at second chances. So in respect for Michael, I called her back. Does that make you happy? A little. Well, what the hell else? I just know in my gut it's going to come back to bite me in the ass. I figured you'd be doing cartwheels or something by now. No cartwheels. All right, then. So I kind of talked to her a minute earlier. She had a <laughs> attitude, but I think that's because she was sober. She might be better off if she drinks and bartends at this point. Hell, I don't know. Every beer we sell is five dollars and fifty cents. Every zipline rides ten bucks. Every time they pop a tire in a brown pit, it's two hundred and seventy-five dollars right there. <laughs> uh -huh. We gotta sell them a tire right now. That's the sound I like to hear. Today started out kind of slow. It's picked up a lot and. Uh, but things are looking better right now. The sun's starting to go down. I think we're going to have a pretty decent night. Coming up, the full throttle kicks into overdrive. But that doesn't mean it's smooth sailing for Michael. Attention, love. One bartender may be stealing. Another is ready to walk. That's the only way you're going to stay. Otherwise, you're just going to walk. Opening day is kicking ass, but the rally doesn't really begin at the full throttle until the flaunt girls take the stage. We're going out there for our first performance of Sturgis 2009-69 rally, and I know there's going to be a few mistakes and things like that. That's why I'm not nervous, and we're all going to all just go out there and have fun. my girls are doing. They've been practicing real hard for the past week and a half. When I seen them up on stage, they totally pulled it together, pulled it off, and they work hard. I mean, they're hardworking girls. The Full Throttle's other secret weapon is just flying in. Jackal may be the most popular biker band in the world. Their Thursday night shows are a Sturgis tradition. And lead singer Jesse James Dupree is a big part of Mike's team at the throttle. Some may say I'm an entertainment director or whatever. You'll be here 30 minutes. While I'm there for that week, you know, I totally immerse myself in a supportive role for him and trying to do everything I can to, to, you know, to help him, you know, make that rally the best rally he can for the full throttle saloon. Hey! What's up? Jesse's such an asset to me, and he's brought so much to the table since I met him 10 years ago. You want to walk down there? Yeah, let's walk down there. The first year I was open, he played at the throttle, and I couldn't do it without him. That's a good little crowd. Not too bad, I guess. This year, we decided to produce one paid concert. This year, we produced corn. The corn show could make a lot of money if they can turn a field behind the bar into a concert venue in just 24 hours. I needed to pull Mike into the office and say, let's start mapping out what we're doing for this corn show. Show me what you've got in order. Where have you already placed? You know, what have you gotten done? What we ought to do is just cone off part of the part where the stage is going to be, and I can still use that for parking, because I'm going to need that for parking Sunday night with Hatchet, and I'll run out of Tomorrow night? Yeah. Molly Hatchet's not Sunday night. Corn Monday. 
Alright, I'm not gonna stress about this. I'm gonna take the Mike Ballard approach and just let nature take its course. That's the best way to do it. I've got lines on sound systems, light shows, stages, but when it came to the rest of the setup, look out, you know, because <laughs> it was gonna be hit it and get it. Typical Mike Ballard fashion. With both of us not giving a <laughs> Things, it'll, it'll work it, out. As Gilligan says, it'll be smooth sailing. <laughs> the first night crowd has the bar hopping, so Michael turns his attention to employees who may be stealing. The Brittany Bell out there. Michael is focusing on Brittany. Is she on that corner bar? The same bartender he and Angie reluctantly decided to bring back. You could have called me. I, that's not my responsibility to make sure you want a job. That's your responsibility. Oh, that's <laughs> I'm not telling. I'm not crossing that line. That's her damn. That's her world. I'm not scared. Of I don't like getting people unless I have it on video. But she left her till for a while. She's that one that's been crying. And that's her. Why we didn't hire her. I'm a little nervous about her, so we might want to kind of watch her. Okay. Is that her buddy? <laughs> They're bitching. Look. They're bitching like crazy. Look. I won't say them to you. I've been feeling really fishy about Brittany, but I won't really do anything unless I can actually walk that person in there and show them the video when they deny that they're stealing from me. And we just didn't have it tonight. I love this bar. I've been coming here for like three years, and all of a sudden I was like, I'm getting a tattoo, and my wife's gonna kill me. Yeah. At first, I texted her, and she was like, please don't do it, please don't do it. And then all of a sudden, it went to, you are stupid. I can't believe you would be so stupid. Hello? Oh, she hung up. <laughs> She's going to kick me out, and I'm going to be living with my dog <laughs> outside. <laughs> Did that guy get an empty? Right on his rear, structure. This is what happens when you come to the full I'm bottle right saloon. Right I'm going, I'm going. They've been branding them all day, dude. Fajita, what are you doing getting naked up here? You got your shirt on backwards and inside out. Look. Look, come here. Here's a tag. Turn that son of a bitch around. Are you drunk? Damn, y'all. Leave me the hell I'm off work. I'm off the clock. Fajita's a loose cannon, man. Behind my line of sight, he drinks, gambles, does everything that he shouldn't do. I'm off the clock. All right. I can't think every once in a while, but it's every yeah. once in a while. Hey, do you like it up here? Because I might move you. The first day's always the toughest. Getting the girls in their spots, getting everything stocked, and all the beer, and all the liquor in place. Cash register's programmed and working. That's the biggest nightmare is the first night. Tomorrow night. I'm gonna move you to a different spot. Okay. Okay. And I'm hoping as people come like tonight, they see the place, the atmosphere, all the stuff that's happening, the new zip line ride, the bridges, the signs, that tomorrow night they're gonna come back again. Yeah. Watch her land, watch her what she hits, watch. <laughs> They say it ain't nothing to it. You ain't done it yet. Hell no. He says they say it ain't nothing to it. He ain't even done it yet. I ain't doing it. I can't break line because it's ten dollars a head and it cost me twenty dollars to do it. Coming up, the biker crowd gets fired up. But it's all too much for one freaked out bartender. Now she's ready to quit. And later, the first night looks like a success. But will the numbers add up? We got a beat last year. The first night at the rally is winding down at the full throttle, but the drama isn't over. One of Michael's managers is about to confront a freaked out bartender who wants to walk off the job. The guy punched me. I, I've had it. I cannot work now. You would stay if we could get you in a bar somewhere. 
And that's the only way you're gonna stay. Otherwise, you're just gonna walk. Yes. I was up there for an hour, and I had a guy grab my ass. Oh. I'm not here to be touched. She's gonna cut out unless she's put like in a, a regular bar. I think because she's elevated and she doesn't have anything behind her, she said she's having a problem. Mm -hmm. Men running their arms up her hands up her. Yeah, I mean, it's, that may just be a fabricated excuse, but who knows? She wasn't happy with where she was placed, so she wanted to leave. She was threatening just to walk off and leave her children. So I hear you want to go, huh? So it was just best that I just pull her, let her go. There are times when I try to talk a girl into staying, but Pam wasn't going to go there. She just wanted to be done and out, and so I'm not going to waste my time and trying to get her to stay because I know by tomorrow I can have another girl here in a heartbeat. Yes, I'm done with full throttle. Closing time right now. Let's go. We got a movie out the door. Right here at the full throttle saloon. Drop your beers out at the door. Thanks for coming. Drive safe. You're generating the kind of cash that Mike Fowler generates and has to generate to keep this place open. He's basically manufactured his own bank. The girls get through with the night. The managers go in, lock their money into a bag. The girls, single file, take it into this big waiting room. They lay out in the waiting room while they're counting their tips. They are individually called up to these teller windows. They put the money into these teller winners, piles of it, where these accountants start tallying things up, matching with the Z tapes. Then it makes its way back into Mike's office in these huge bundles that are all bagged, face tagged, ready to go with the, the, the deposit slip. How many bars out there have to have their own built-in bank to check in that kind of money? It's been real, it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. Oh. Usually nobody gets cut until 2, so the latest I was here last year, I think, was about 5.30. we got to surpass what we did last year, and a lot. 11.79. I hate to even compare it to last year, because last year was so devastating. 10.88. 15.69. Oh, you're not even halfway um, there. Just about halfway. 824. Please get on up another 10,000. 2011.75. I was really banking on tonight being big. What? Just less than last year again. What? How, by how much? Oh, we wouldn't make any difference. We got a beat last year. Son of a. Have a nice night. Oh, let's go. Don't yes. I don't think tonight's gonna pull what we pulled last year. On we had a, a real high night on the first Saturday night last year. But uh, we'll see where it turns out. All I know is I'm wore out. I've had enough already. I need to get in bed. Been a long day. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. Hey, you need to move them bikes out of there. We're going to end up with our ass in a swing. Running the regular bar and pulling off a separate corn concert. Why didn't somebody let me know before now? Maybe too much for Michael and Jesse. If those damn bars and the merch stuff is set up by the time gates open, it's going to be a miracle. And the pressure of the rally is too much for GOAT. GOAT, come here. What happened? I'm done. This place.